Man, look at that. Look at that great, gorgeous gray sky. It's a great day for golf, right? I've got these two Titleist putters right here. And although it's too, the weather is not uh, conducive to golf and also it's illegal in Michigan right now, there are still people who want to buy putters like this, especially this brand. This is a uh, Scotty Cameron. Uh, it's a Titleist putter. Again, a very sought after brand. And this is the Newport uh, Select Series. Now I believe it's from 2018. It should say maybe on there. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at it and do a little bit more work. I got these on a pallet of sporting goods about eight months ago, and I couldn't sell them because it was winter and they weren't gonna be worth as much because obviously you can't golf during winter, so there's less demand and the equal supply. So I wanna figure out how much these are worth right now. The issue is that using eBay's sold search listing function, I'd only get the last 90 days and that was over winter. These are not gonna be accurate for what the demand is now. Even with half the country being not allowed to golf, there are still people in certain states who want these. So what do I need? I need to do like a, a 365 day sold listing search to get all of last summer's pricing on this because the 2020 Scotty Cameron putters, those are not gonna be bought as much because uh, everyone's on lockdown still. And at least for the time being, they're not gonna be bought as much. So I gotta figure out how to do that. And luckily, eBay has a software uh, it's like Terapeak, they're, they bought Terapeak or they're, they're absorbing Terapeak, um, where you can go into your, it's like 20 bucks a month, you can go into your store and research uh, using keywords and, and advanced filters. And we're going to do that and I'm going to show you how I do it to get the most money for these putters because I don't want to sell them for any less than they're worth. I have the putter right here. I saw on the bag it was a 35 inch putter, which is pretty standard, a little bit long for putters. And then on the head cover, uh, it's still in the shrink wrap. It says Newport Select 2, or Select Newport 2. Uh, three red dots. It isn't anything special, just like a, a nice, you know, kind of higher end putter. So we're going to go over to eBay, my eBay store, and uh, it's like eBay slash SH slash uh, research, I think. I'll put the link below, whatever it is, you can go there. And you can actually have a really easy way to filter through, uh, first of all, things that aren't this putter so like a different uh length a different style um a different handedness and i can easily avoid those and i can also look to see what like the wholesalers sell theirs for so the people who have maybe 10 in stock uh and i can use or you know however many in stock a thousand in stock who cares um but the people who are making routine sales if there are any it's just a good way to get more information because the more information you have, the better decisions you can make. This is it. It is ebay.com slash sh slash research. And again, it's like 20 bucks a month. If you have a store, you can upgrade. There's tons of ways you can do it. I mean, what it comes down to is if you are making two extra sales a month or you're making an extra 20% on 10 sales a month, that's going to pay for it. So if you're a full-time seller, you should do this. I don't know why it's taken me so long to use this. I haven't really been an eBay guy, but now with things changing, I've been forced to uh, reassess. So what we're going to do is switch it to 365 days, and that is uh, the last year. And I'm going to just put in, um, I'm going to put in Titleist Putter. The reason I'm not doing just last summer is because I want to see how the price has changed over the past year and see if it's trending downward or trending upward because I think it might be trending upward. So yeah, Titleist uh, Newport Select 2 putter, which is the putter I'm not I haven't put in the handedness or the length yet, but I want to see I want to get a basic idea uh, of what I'm looking at. And um, hmm. So definite things are moving, definite sales. Uh, it looks like a lot of these occurred last year, and I'm getting multiple years. I'm getting a custom putter. My putter isn't cut them. <laughs> My putter is not custom. It's um, it's just like a, a retail putter. So this is not exactly what I need. It's a little bit um, a little bit too vague. Let's specify more. We'll say it's new. We'll say it's fixed price because I don't want to be comparing mine to auctions. I'm not going to auction this off. I'm going to be selling it as a, a fixed price listing. So we research further with those uh, that that criteria, and we're getting a little bit more clarity on uh, on what it'll go for. I'm still seeing a little bit of static around here. I think that I have to further specify. So what I want to do is after I look at a few of these, um, it is the 2018 model. I've been able to figure that out. So I'm going to go and put in uh, either 2018 or I'm going to type in right-handed or I'm going to type um, 35 to be 35 inches. That's how long the putter is. And I think after I do that, I'll have an even more accurate idea of um, 
of what's going on. But first, I want to see how the whole market's trending. Uh, I want to see if putters, if this Scotty Cameron putter is going up or going down or staying uh, stable. Because, you know, like I said, the 2020 putters are not being bought, I assume, or not being made at the same rate, I assume, uh, just like nothing else is. And so if this 2018 model is picking up some slack because the 2020s aren't out yet, we're actually seeing a trend upward. So I might be able to charge a bit more than the solds are showing. Uh, it depends really how many are sold right now. And so the next step is to further refine our search, add in 2018, add in the handedness, add in um, 35 because it's a 35 inch long putter and see where we're at then. And after I do that, I'm going to check out uh, how many active there are and how many sold there are because that's like the final layer of this equation is how many are still active and how many have sold recently. Now that our query is refined, it looks like there are four results uh, that I would have titled mine similarly to, and they appear to be right at about the price I thought they'd be at, 300 bucks. And now what I wanna do is go over to the active to see how many actives there are, because if there are no actives, which, oh wow, look, there are no actives, um, I could actually probably charge maybe 350, maybe even 400 bucks. So that costs 20 bucks a month. But in that eight minute research session I just had, I probably made myself an extra $200. If I can sell those at 350 a piece, I have two of them, then I'll make an extra 200 bucks. Because what I would have done prior to this, the sold them at 250, I wouldn't have thought about it, it would have been over. But again, by doing a little bit more research, by having more information, I can make a better decision a more accurate decision, a decision that better reflects the circumstances that I'm in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't be a shithead. And remember, always get more info because that's not going to make your decision worse. It's going to make it better. See you later.